Hi, welcome back to Kianda the Smart Home. This video shows you how to monitor level of tank by use of ultrasonic sensor with ESP Home in Home Assistant. Ultrasonic sensors measure distances by using ultrasonic wave. The sensor emits an ultrasonic wave and receives the wave reflected back from the target. These sensors measure the distance to the target by measuring the time between emission and reception. In this project, we need an ESP development board set up with ESP Home in Home Assistant. If you do not know how to do it, watch its tutorial. Also, an ultrasonic sensor is needed. I use SR04. Before continuing the video, subscribe and press the bell button to receive every new video. Stay tuned. To use ultrasonic sensor, we have to add ultrasonic platform in YAMP file of ESP development board. In Home Assistant, navigate to Settings, click Add-ons, open ESP Home Add-on, click Open Web UI, click Edit of the development board. You want to add ultrasonic sensor to it to open its YAM file in order to edit it. In the YAM file, paste these lines. You can find the lines in the description. This platform expects a sensor that can send a trigger pulse on a specific pin and will send out an echo pulse once a measurement has been taken. As sometimes the echo pulse is never returned, this sensor also has a timeout option which specifies how long to wait for values. Trigger pin is the output pin to periodically send the trigger pulse. I use GPIO22 of my development board as trigger. Echo pin is the input pin on which to wait for the echo. I use GPIO25 of my development board as echo. Set a name for your sensor. Timeout is the number of meters for the timeout. Most sensors can only sense up to 2 meters. I set it to 1 meter. I set internal to true as I do not want to have water tank sensor in front. Accuracy decimal, manually set the number of decimals to use when reporting values. I set it to 2. By default, unit of measurement of ultrasonic sensor is meter. I change it to person. Pulse time is the duration for which the trigger pin will be active. Default is set to 10 microseconds. Specify an ID for the sensor to use it in code generation. Update interval is the interval to check the sensor. Default is set to 60 seconds. To make the video short, I set it to 5 seconds. Lambda performs a single mathematical operation over the sensor value. The input value is x and the result of the lambda is used as the output. Why should we use lambda? The sensor measures the distance between remaining liquid in the tank and itself. We need the height of remaining liquid, so we have to convert the measured distance. In order to convert the measured distance, subtract the measured number from the height of the tank, or let's say the toppest level of the tank. Also, the range of this waterproof sensor is between 25 centimeters to 4.5 meters, so it can't measure distance less than 25 centimeters. To fix this issue, I suggest to install the sensor with a 30 centimeter distance to the toppest level of your tank, or let's say liquid. This 0.3 is the 30 centimeter distance as an offset. This part of formula changes the measured value to the height of remaining liquid in the tank. If you divide it by the height of the tank and then multiple to 100, the returned value will be in percent. In this example, I considered the height of tank as one meter. 
if for example the height of your tank is two meter you have to change these two numbers and that's it I use a template sensor let's see what this template sensor does set a name for it tank level set an ID for it accuracy decimal I set it to zero unit of measurement set it to percent if the converted value of water tank sensor is more than 100 return 39 meaning error else return its value also, I set update interval of template sensor to 5 seconds. The development board I'm using has an MCD connected to it. We can also display the measured value. There is another tutorial about using displays with ESP Home. If you do not know how to use display, watch the tutorial in description. I paste the lines related to showing the value of tank level sensor editing YAM file is done power is connected to ESP development board I click in install as development board is connected to network and home assistant wirelessly I click wirelessly wait till installation completes in installing edited YAM file into development installation is done I click stop let's connect ultrasonic sensor to development board to connect this waterproof ultrasonic sensor to ESP development board we need 5 volt DC so I use 5 volt DC pin of development board we need ground in YAM file we used or let's say set GPIO 22 as trigger pin and GPIO25 as pulse pin. I disconnect the power of development board connect red wire to 5 volt pin of sensor yellow to trigger pin this one to pulse pin or let's say echo and black wire to ground red wire is connected to 5 volt pin of development board yellow is connected to GPIO 22 this one is connected to GPIO 25 and black is connected to ground of development board The sensor is ready to be used. After connecting ultrasonic sensor to development board in Home Assistant, I navigate to dashboard. Click three dots at the top right corner of the screen to open dashboard menu. Click the dashboard. Click add card. Choose gauge. In entity section, I search the sensor tank level minimum is 0 maximum is 100 and enable display as needle gauge save as you see we have the remaining water of the tank both in home assistant and on the display of development to use this sensor, we have to install this part of the sensor at the topest level of the tank. Pay attention and don't forget the 30 centimeter distance between this part and the maximum 
level of the tank or the level of liquid in the tank. Also, this part must be connected to the tank or must be installed on the tank on a vertical position to the tank. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done yet. Also, press the bell button to receive every new video. In the next video, I will show you how to display pictures in Home Assistant based on sensor status. I'll see you.